The Cincinnati Dinner Train enter to, enters its 14th season tomorrow night, and a very special guest will be joining the route this year. You're probably wondering who it is. I'm going to tell you. Leave it to Beaver star Jerry Mathers will be riding aboard the train next month. Dinner Train owner Brian Collins is a longtime fan of the 50s and 60s sitcom, and he actually sent his collection to the Beaver himself. So I packaged it all up, paid for the freight, shipped it out there, sitting in my office a week later. Phone rings. Hello, is this Brian? Yes. Brian, this is Jerry Mathers from uh, California. I was this close from going, Beeb, how you doing? <laughs> I think you should have done that. So Mathers is going to ride the train on April 23rd. He says he never gets tired of answering questions from fans of the show. Because each person has things that they saw on the show that they want to know about. So, you know, why was uh, Lumpy so mean or da 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 da? It's just a, so it, it's really kind of fun for me to be able to go there and answer questions that they've had for probably many years about the show. And then they'll say, oh, that's why I, I would have never guessed that. As my producer just said in our ear, there's the beef himself. <laughs> so that ride with Mathers is sold out, but you can find more dates online. The hope is to have more theme nights in the future, including a WKRP ride. Anytime I meet somebody from outside Cincinnati and they find out I work at a TV station, they're like, is it WKRP? And, and you're like, no, but it's even w better KRC. <laughs> and then they just are so confused by you, the whole You know thing. who loves trains is our Jeff Hirsch. She retired oh, a couple yes, of years ago, yes, but yes. he, whenever I think of a train story, I think of him because he just really loved trains and to do stories on trains. So maybe we'll invite him to the WKRP one. I think his last story here was a train story. He got to choose it. I, man, we miss Jeff Hirsch.